because I don't have a crusher and stemmer, I pretty much crush all my grapes by hand and it takes a lot longer that way. But that's the technology that I have. All right, so I gotta get a sample of this, not only to test with the hydrometer what the bricks reading is, but to uh, be able to test some of the other readings for the must, such as total acidity and pH. This is at about 20, 20 to 21 bricks. So that's not bad. I mean, I don't expect to have a lot more than that for my grapes. Uh, for these red grapes because if I wait any longer and get the sugar content higher I'll end up probably losing a lot of the crop to disease so kind of a balancing act so our yeast is all full of water it's imbibed all the water and dissolved so we'll drop that in there You can just get it mixed in by hand. And I'm going to let this sit for a little while until it gets active before we add it to the rest of the grapes in the barrel. It's time to stomp some grapes and first I am sterilizing my feet as good as I can. I'm gonna get in here and stomp these because it's uh, it's been a few days and it's time to get this uh, fermentation going in earnest. Our semi-carbonic maceration time is up and now we're gonna get the rest of these grapes crushed. I'm hoping I'll be able to actually uh, get out of this barrel after I've crushed these grapes. Wow, really not going very far into them. <laughs> started out and they just weren't even going in at all. And now they're going down to the bottom almost. There's still a lot more grapes down there to crush. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never actually done this before because I've never had enough grapes. But now my feet are going all the way down. actively fermenting I just punched down the cap so it's going crazy in there smells good basically if you stick your face in here you get asphyxiated because <laughs> it's all just gas coming off of it all right so this is the next step in this uh, nouveau wine that I've been making out of uh, Frontenac grapes and I am uh, doing the pressing now. So we're just scooping the stems and skins and the must out of this barrel and putting it into my small capacity press. This takes quite a while, but uh, since the, the grapes have been sort of fermenting, it's pretty much broken all the cell walls. And so it's much easier to press this than it is uh, to press the white grapes, which you press fresh. I've been doing that for the last couple of days and it takes forever. <laughs> and it still doesn't extract all the juice. Um, so this is 
hopefully going to be a much faster process, and we'll uh, we'll get this stuff pressed in, uh, into the carboys as soon as possible. But it smells good. No off smells or anything. I think it's going to be a good batch. In the next video, I'll be going over the next steps in the winemaking for this Nouveau wine, and we'll be racking the Nouveau as well as some other wines. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, and give a thumbs up to the video, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.